When it seems as though you're facing nothing but difficulties, see it as an invaluable opportunity to experience the greatest joy that you can. James 1 verse 2. Hard to believe in 2020, right? COVID, Zoom funerals for people we couldn't say bye to, political, financial, and racial tensions, all of the fear, and so created the perfect conditions to experience the love of Jesus, because that's how faith counts. It anchors your perspective to a truth that supersedes whatever reality we find ourselves in, and it shifts how we go through it. See, since March, our church meetings have been wild, even through live stream. In the middle of lack, we chose generosity. We've planted 200 new churches and leveraged the pandemic's effects on brothels to help rescue girls out of human trafficking. We know this is going to inspire generations to partner with God for great things in the time of their crisis. Also, a team and I quarantined in a cabin to write music for this season. All would know its melodies were birthed out of difficulty and our children would have an example of dads who sang through their storm. And since we honor God with our bodies, we maximized the time to stay fit, not out of vanity, but out of value. Multi-ethnic, multi-generational men became a brotherhood of runners, and we're just getting warmed up. See, we've all experienced trials during this time, and many feel hopeless, like they're not gonna make it, but this book says, the test of faith is stirring up power within us to endure all things. So I remain convinced that 2020 is still going to be the greatest opportunity to experience the joy of the Lord Jesus, which is our strength.